we had that much rain last night that there's actual puddles on the track <laughs> to drive through today. I was not expecting that at all. Alright. Yeah, I'll try and um I'll try and bulldoze some of these uh corrugations for people. <laughs> but it's a bit wet. I will say that uh, the roads, the road in on either direction, so from either south uh, up to the Ningaloo camps or north down to the Ningaloo camps, the road is just about as bad as the worst that we experienced on Cape York. Um, yeah, it's only about 23 kilometres each direction, each way in. But uh, yeah, expect like an hour waste. That's pretty bloody bad. Snorkeling time at South Lafroy. Got in at uh, site number one. We'll do a bit of a drift down with the car and see how we go. Try a 
right, we took a little bit of a detour on the way back and found Hidden Beach. Uh, you do have to drive over some sand dunes and make your way to this absolutely spectacular beach. It is so calm. You wouldn't even know with the wind that there was wind because the dunes are blocking the direction. It's magic. Check it out. Um, we are going to be coming back here during our seven day stay because that scoop, that snorkeling was amazing. So, um, yep, it's definitely um, one we're going to come back for. And check out the sunset. Gorgeous. Wind's just dropped off, so it's been not windy the next few days, and uh, it is bloody perfect. Hot weather, like 28, I reckon. It's so good. Calm as, just beautiful. Aria and I have a little spare time today, so we are going to attempt a cook from the Camps Australia Wide Community Cookbook. We are going to attempt the self sourcing butterscotch pudding. Now, I've never cooked on the camp oven before, and I've never done this recipe, so it could be a complete flop. First things first, measure out and put in the flour, the salt, the milk, and the sugar, and mix it all together. Pour that into the cake tin. Then on the stove in a saucepan, butter 
and honey. Now it's meant to be golden syrup, but we don't have any, so I'm using honey. Hopefully that works. Melt that, add the water until it's all mixed together. Gently pour that over the batter mixture. Done. So remember, I've not done this before. We don't have a trivet. I feel like you need a trivet for a cake. Um, so my theory is scrunch up some fo uh, aluminium foil into balls so the air can still get around, but the tin is not sitting um, directly on the metal. Fingers crossed. Daniel has the fire started already. Just waiting for it. the coals and we'll be able to put it on. We have had the most cloudy day. It's been like on and off looking stormy, but yet sunset. She turned it on, she came through on the clouds. It's really nice. I think we timed it well with the starting the fire a bit earlier tonight to uh, enjoy. I think Daniel has gone to capture the sunset though, because he disappeared, he was sitting next to me. <laughs> And now he's not here. So I think that's where he's run off to. Oh my god, that's amazing. Still got lots to go there. Feels good. A little bit on the soft on the side, but I think it's good. All right, after about an hour and a half on the coals, we have what looks like this. <laughs> Is it correct? I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's give it a whirl, hey? south of Roy and uh, <coughs> it's high tide today it's the highest tide of the year uh, apart from apparently one in September spring tide and uh, yeah it's pretty high you can see behind me it's normally all sand it's currently a lake uh, I don't know if anyone's had their like uh, caravans like in trouble or anything but if you are here for like the one of the two really high tides of the year um, definitely something to be aware of um, like I don't think you can drive out of Site 25 and Site 19 might have issues as well. Uh, and the ones on the beach are meant to be blocked out by national parks so you can't camp there anyway during a really high tide. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see. There's our caravan straight through there with the mast up. It's probably below the level of this lake but the dunes luckily in between us. What are we doing Daniel? Parking south of Fruit Bay. Yeah, well, not yet. We're getting ready to. <laughs> yeah, we're going to snorkel off the kayak. Made a homemade anchor out of an old 10 litre water jerry. So we're so going to fill that with sand and yeah. anchor the kayak and go snorkeling off the kayak. That's it. Fingers crossed it all goes to plan. Hopefully. <laughs> Control it. 
constellations You cover me in glitter till I'm shining bright I never wanna leave the sky The way you made me feel alive I was in the dark and baby, you're the light You're from another planet I've never felt like this, I don't know how I ever survived without it I'm sorry, I Got me upside down, spinning around you Wanna taste the Oh, we love this spot. I'm so glad we've got um, like a week booked here. I thought I'd quickly jump on and let you know a little bit about it. So it's um, in the Ningaloo Station area, Ningaloo Reef, um, but uh, looked after by National Parks. So you do need to book your site on the National Parks WA site. Um, and I think it was like $8 an adult, $9 an adult. Under fives are free, so ARIA doesn't matter. Um, allocated site, so once you get your site number confirmed, make sure you write that down because reception is limited until you get here and get set up with our internet kit. <laughs> um, so make um, sure you've got that written down. There is a, like a service little tower thing at the, start, at the entrance in that you can um, stop at if you need to for that. Um, some are water sites, some are a bit back, some are big, some are small. Um, so make sure you look at that information on the camps, um, sorry, on the national parks um, website when you're booking as well. Um, I'll update this one on camps as well for you to give you as much information as we can. Um, snorkeling here has been amazing. Um, you need to bring your chemical toilet. Dogs are allowed on lead um, and there is a dump point at the entrance so if you are staying a week like us you can just duck up and empty your toilet. Um, you need to bring all your water as well so don't forget that because um, there isn't any around. Um, if I've forgotten anything, let me know. We are up nice and early this morning, um, which is unusual for us. <laughs> we were up before sunrise um, because we need to get across Yardy Creek at the lowest of tides possible. Uh, we're not going to make it on low, low tide. That's just either way too early or way too late today. So we've um, jumped up a reasonable time before sunrise, got ourselves organised and we are hitting the road nice and early to make it across, hopefully before the tide gets too high. If we get there and it's too high, well, <laughs> we just hang out for the day. Um, if we have any issues along the way, um, and that's what, how it is, well that's how it is, but um, we are hoping that we can get down along and across Yardy Creek before high tide. So let's go. We've had the best time here at South Lefroy. We are coming back here for sure, um, and um, we'll show you along the way to Yardy Creek. Alrighty, so we have arrived to the dip on the track. And we're just gonna slowly crawl forward and see how it goes. Preparation is what helped us there. So we lowered our air hitch onto the lowest um, one. I'll quickly show you that. So this here has been lowered. Normally we're in the middle, I think, and we put it on the lowest. 
and that is what got the back of the caravan up on that angle to not scrape. All right, we have made it to the creek and looks like we're gonna cross. It's not too high. Um, so, yay. I'm so glad that that worked out timing wise. We were worried we were gonna get here and the tide was gonna be too far in. Um, but it looks pretty good. On the last little entry bit into like down, um, we scraped and this is it. Uh, and that's purely because again that hitch is lower so if we had like stopped and put the hitch up and blah blah, blah that wouldn't have happened but um because it was like that lower entry point that scraped but that's okay hammer will fix that <laughs> was a piece of cake wasn't it um so we crossed at nine o'clock i'm going to put in here uh what the tide level was there so you can have that as a reference um and yeah it, the bottom was a bit soft um so make sure you engage um the things you need for full driving soft sand things like that um to make sure you don't get into any strife um what i did forget to tell you about the campsites along that area were that there was no, there's no bins there's dump points for your toilet but no bins so you need to collect all your rubbish and bring it with you if you're coming across this way there are some skip bins here at the Yardie Creek, um, as, long, as well as the dump point. So we just left our toilet full, came here and emptied the toilet, emptied the um, rubbish um, while we popped up the tyres and stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, we are off to the next spot. Let's go.